All right, bet. Hang on. All right, it's me again. Um, I had a funny intro in my head, but I totally am blanking right now. Though I've only made, I guess technically I've made kind of like two uh, video game videos. Um, I'm actually more into them that I that that I I show on this channel. So I figured, why not? Go back to my roots, go to the first system that um, I owned for more than like a year, and uh, go to one of the games that I hold dearly in my heart. Sadly, I don't have any real gameplay to show you guys from me, because, um, wait, did I mention it's on a Wii? Yeah, it was a Wii. I don't, I already forgot, like, if I said that or not, I have no idea. Anyways, whatever. One of the games that I hold near and dear to my heart, um, I actually found out recently it was a Wii launch title, um, and honestly, probably one of the most underrated games, not just on the Wii, but of all time, I feel like. Uh, I only know of one other person that actually knows about this game, uh, which is actually my new roommate. So, so if that if that tells you anything, then I, I don't know. Get more educated on good games, idiots. But today's game, as I'm sure you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, is Elibids. So hopefully I made a cool, funny intro. But yeah, it's Elibits, but also known as El Elibit Elibet Elibet Elibes Ella Elibet. I think it's called Elibet in like Europe or something. But if you call it that, then I say you can suck on LED's nuts. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, like I said, it was a Wii launch title. Um, it's main focus, of course. Of if you, I'm sure you've played Wii. If not, then go fucking play a Wii, idiot. Its main focus was on motion controls, because that was a big thing with the Wii. Um, long story sh short, basically, you're this kid, and like you hate Elbits because your mom and dad are scientists, and they spend all their time studying Elbits. Um, and the reason for electricity in the game is because... One day lightning struck and elbits just kind of showed up so everything is like ran off them i guess it's kind of it's kind of slave-esque uh basically like if you took pokemon but turned the slavery up to like 200 but i guess they don't really care um i don't know man but yeah anyways um power goes out one day <clears throat> excuse me um Power goes out one day, uh, well, and your parents run off to their lab. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember much of the story. <laughs> I just, I just remember, um, I mainly remember the first, like, two missions, because I think I would just play them over and over again for some reason, because it was kind of scary. Um, and I'll tell you why. Let me get back to the, 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 the story of the game before I forget. But yeah, they go to this lab to see probably why the power ran out, because everything's run off elibits in this universe, and... You're like, well, dang, this sucks. I hate Elbits, and now I can't even watch TV because I need Elbits to use it. 
and then I guess the the elephants aren't charging anything right now. They're just kind of hiding out in your house. So, um, you grab your dad's like capture gun and you go around and get down some little green and red fellas to get electricity. But yeah, anyways, uh, I mainly just remember the first and second mission. First one's in your bedroom. Second one's like in the hallway. Um. And I think I was too scared to play any other missions because, well, since there's no like, electricity, you know, the game's kind of dark. Well, at least for, like, the start of every mission. And then towards the end, it gets lighter as you turn on more appliances and whatnot with the elements you've collected. I remember that, and another big thing I used to play a lot was the edit mode, which was pretty cool. This was the first game I believe I played with an actual edit mode. You know, you go you go in, you place on objects and L bits, you set a timer, you set how many you need to collect, and there you go. I didn't really have internet though, so I couldn't like play other people's things. Um, but I, uh, <laughs> my little stupid stupid ass kid brain just liked to go into the edit mode and place down as many L bits as I could, and just set the watt limit to like infinite and just just go ham on them. Just the whole ground is covered in little blue and green Pokemanes. I'm just like, <laughs> that's mostly what I, what I remember because I I just I don't know. Just something about picking up the elements was so was so satisfying to me. But yeah, sadly I do not have a Wii or a Wii U, and I'm don't really feel like buying one at the moment. I do plan on getting a Wii U at some point and playing the hell out of this game because... Wait, actually, hang on. My, my good friend and roommate um, actually has a copy of the Wii game. So, that's awesome. Uh, I think he's held on to this game since whenever the game came out in like 2006, I believe. But yeah, check it out. There she is. Ah. But yeah, I definitely plan on playing that at some point. And now that I've kind of got you guys up to speed about what it's about and sort of why it's important to me, um, I feel like it's shaped me as a human. Um, if it wasn't for Elibits, I would probably be on the streets selling and doing crack. This is not a joke. Since my recent curiosity in the game, I decided, you know, why not go and see if there's a subreddit for it, because there's a subreddit for anything. And lo and behold, there is, but it's very sad. Um, if I remember correctly, the only post I saw was from, well, there might have been a couple, but the last one was from like two years ago. But I noticed that there was an Elvis Discord. So I decided to go and uh, hit that up. But now, I'm not really one to like, use Discord for more than just talking to my friends. So this is sort of uh, sort of a new thing for me. But as soon as I joined, um, this one person hit me up in the general chat and sort of educated me. And it turns out that there's actually three Elibits games. I thought there was just the one. When I, whenever he, they told me about that, I went bonkers. I was like, what? Uh -huh. uh, but it turns out there was a DS game made. The DS game was made in 2008, so just about two years after the original Wii title. But this was more of a, uh, from what I've seen, it's more of like a JRPG. You're not like just walking around your house getting collecting things with your Wii remote. Um, I don't really know how it plays, but I do also plan on playing that as a And then the third game in the series was Elbit's Capture, which I had no idea existed as well, obviously, but it was a mobile game. Hopefully I can show you some gameplay of that right here. I haven't looked into it at all, which makes zero sense because I'm making a video about the franchise, but you know, do you, whatever. I'll probably try and get that somehow. Uh, it's probably not going to be the legal way in how I acquire it because it's no longer on Play Store or Apple Store. So there's that. And then after being educated about 
there being two other Elvis games, they're like, guess what? We're also trying to make a fan game, and they're also trying to buy the rights of Elvis from Konami, which I was like, I, well, for one, I didn't even know anybody knew about this game. <laughs> for two, I didn't know that there were any more games, and for three, I didn't know that anybody would be like going out of their way and loving this game as much as I do, obviously more. I'll probably leave some links in the description to anything I find out, whatever they want me to do to help get the name out there, because I, I want this shit to happen. We need more Elibits. Nintendo, if you don't if you don't let them buy their rights or even make a fan game, because we know how Nintendo is with um, their properties. Uh, well, I guess that's more Konami than Nintendo, but y y you get the point. If they're not allowed to make this fan game or anything, Nintendo needs to make Either, well, I would say a VR game, but I don't really see that happening. Can we just talk about how awesome a VR game of this would be? Like, come on. Or even just, like I was about to say a second ago, a Switch game for Elibits. You know, the motion controls is there. Uh, you got the Rumble Plus for your little stick drift Joy-Cons you got going on. Probably sitting on, you just leave them on your Switch because you never actually want to use them because they suck ass. But, yeah, I, uh, I mainly just... I just want to make this video to shed some light on a game that I feel is super underrated and underappreciated and feel free to go support the people over in the Elibits Discord and um, I think that's about it. Elibators live on. Huh? <laughs>